Hey, Mike, this what's up, guy. brother? There's Hello, a situation. Hello, Mr. Situation. It's my seat. Take yeah. a seat. You look yeah. like, what the fuck did I get myself Take into? Take a seat, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> Jim Norton. So you know, doing? Friend, good morning, man. You, you know, doing? Friend, that's uh, Rich Voss. That's Pedro from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. To your yeah. right, what's up, Cat? Okay, what's up? Man? But now he's in Eastbound yeah. and Down on HBO. That's Rich Voss, very funny comic. Uh, Jim doing? Norton, to your yeah. left there, what's sir. Up, guys? How, How you doing? doing? Come over, Anthony, up, that's Opie over there. What's up, Mike? I have a Pro question Jam. about an abbreviation. Yeah. It's a, this is this is the first thing I've read. Page eighty-four. One night in Detroit, I brought nine girls back to my hotel room. And then you say, listen, girls, I have another city to go to tomorrow. I don't want to be like this, but if you're not DTF, as previously advertised back at the club, then please exit the room immediately in an orderly down fashion. To, down, down to fuck. Down to oh, fuck. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know what yeah. that was. Yeah, he, he doesn't play around. If, if he brought uh, the girls back to the Jersey Shore house and they weren't DTF, he, he yeah. kicked them out. Jim says the same thing, but it's HIV. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know. They yeah, film, right they, so you guys film in Seaside. I'm going to tell Oh, the they just filmed in Miami. No, the first season well, was in Seaside. You're, all right. Well, they, where, you've been. where the first Second time I had sex. Started. All and right. I'm going to tell you the story real quick. All right. We went to, it was Labor Day weekend. We go to rent a room at Kathleen Rooms. And the lady said, look, uh, I can give you two guys one bed, and I'm going to rent the other half of the room to a, uh, another person. My friend and I go, Who's, who, no one's going to take the room. So me and him take the one bed, thinking we're going to have both beds. We come back, and she rented the room to seven other guys, the other bed. So there was nine guys in our room. We go to the, I come back. Sexy. I come back. I come back to the room, and this guy's fucking this girl. <laughs> I go, can I? And he goes, so she's out of the way and he fucks you? So, so, it's, so, so, then, so then, but this is the first time I get laid. The first, so then I fuck her, right? I, I come within a minute and I walk down to the beach and, you know, look at the sunset to reflect my first time. <laughs> Then I fuck some jizz stricken broad. After I fucked her, there was a line out the door. And my friend Brian was like fifth. Right? He was fucking her while I'm sitting on the beach just going just over reflecting my reflecting your, your you're first now a time. man. Very romantic. Yes. Getting, Very romantic. Getting, yeah. getting away from some fat girl that was completely oh, wow. drunk and out Quality. of it, not even awake. Gotta and love it was just Jersey. like sticking my dick in roast beef. That, uh, oh, God damn, Rich. That's a quality experience right there. That's 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 like like it, right? Right? That sounds like a call. How, how like are you on fatties? Every guy likes to go out and fuck fatties. I, <laughs> even though I don't get laid a lot or I didn't grow up, I never liked fat chicks. Um, you know what? I, I stick to people that are around my size. Yeah. Uh, you don't, you don't yeah. go picking. Um, I guess he doesn't no, have no, to. No, 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 no but I'm saying yeah. sometimes guys will just do it just to do it. A lot of guys. They, will, they you know him. what? I actually, I actually heard of guys that you know want to you know, take a shot at it. Yeah, they're called because, black <laughs> <laughs> because they want to. I think I, I forgot who said it. They just want to just see you know what it's like. Yeah, and I actually, I actually. I think somebody said that it was great. Supposedly know. they're good bangs, fat girls, because they do whatever you want them to do. They go out of the yeah, way. But right. I just can't sort of like that. in the book, um, you know, it state that uh, the best sex comes from sometimes a, a grenade because she's so happy to. Yeah, she you know, tries be in a little harder. Happy she's to be there. Yeah. Really? You guys happy have amazing. It's that. amazing how many things you guys just say that have become like fucking just common household. <laughs> Like, I shouldn't know. I don't know what a grenade... I, I don't watch the show. Like, I've seen it, but I know what a grenade is. I know what a fucking grenade... Yeah. And I know it's and not good. you go on stage. Oh, Red Sauce, everybody. Set it up. Boom. Maybe you should go to the beach and reflect on that great joke. <laughs> I knew he was coming back with something because his eyes started opening. Old Cyclops actor. Nothing on that one. I no, because Cyclops is one eye, you fucking retard. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he tries to be smart, he blows it. Yeah. Just be mean and fucking small handed. You'll be fine. You I'm know what? To be intelligent. I, I, I didn't even know what I was getting into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually, little arguments. This going is on definitely a situation. Right yeah, it here. sure it's is. Every serious. day it's like yeah. this. This is what we do. I mean, you guys little arguments. Mike, what were you doing before MTV? Right before uh, you hit. Right before MTV or. Yeah, because now you're like. Or on the steps. Like, I, there were steps that I took to get to MTV. Oh, yeah? Like yeah. Uh, well, first, like, when I first became unemployed, um, I mean, I had no money. Uh, you know, I eventually lost my house, you know, my car. I pretty much lost everything, no money. Why and, did you, why, did you do something that... No, 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 I, no I, I, I was doing mortgages. And, uh, and the market collapsed, and the money that I had saved, eventually, after mortgage payments, car payments, food, it dwindles down to nothing. Mm. And then uh, I pretty much, you know, found myself... Uh, you know, only ever doing mortgages, 
you know, mm -hmm. an associate's degree in business and 25 years old, no money, and my parents screaming at me. And I'm like, you know, what am, you know, what am I going to do here? So I'm like, you know, my parents are telling me, be a cop, be a firefighter. You know, we need to throw you in the Navy. We need, we need to fix you. You know, you know, just really serious stuff. And in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, man, I don't think that stuff is for me. Nothing, nothing against any of that stuff. I just, I just had different, different visions in my head, you know, as, as, you know, there's something out there for me. I don't know what it is. Right. But I just know I don't think it's that. And uh, eventually, um, I was, you know, always in good shape. And then some girl at the time that I knew, she's like, you know, why don't you send some pictures in to New York City? She's like, you know, you have an unbelievable body. She said, you know. There's nothing reason why, you know, you can't, you know, do something with it. You fucker! <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. But, uh, probably after the pictures were taken. No more before. You have yeah, nice fingernails, the... too. I'm not, yeah. I'm not gay, but you have nice nails. Oh, thank Why do you wow. notice that? Yeah, because right? I, I bite, my, I bite my nails. What's yeah. wrong with you? So, anyways, we said, we said to say that? Yeah, right? Well, I'm just trying to be complimentary. Right. His boss bites his nails. He's had fucking horrible nails his whole life. Yeah. Well, so anybody bites his actually... fingers. Look at him. <laughs> So you sent the, well, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. So what sent, else does he do with his fingers? I sent the pictures in. Uh, regardless to say, two weeks later, I get an answer from a number of agencies. Uh, long story short, I got a year contract for you know underwear modeling, but they don't give me. I didn't get any money out. It was just a contract saying we're gonna pimp you out. Go here, go there, go see this and that, and you have to get your own work, obviously. Um, within doing modeling of two weeks. Um, you know, I pretty much stumbled upon a casting uh, by VH1. So pretty much, um, you know, I was noticed by TV within two weeks. Um, and I was wow. casted on a pilot um, for the show that would eventually be Jersey Shore. What was the show that VH1... Did VH1 not pick up the pilot? Those fucking uh, I really, I really don't know what the story was. I really just thought... I really just heard rumors that MTV loved it. And they're the same company, pretty much. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And that... And almost like MTV called dibs on it. They, oh. And w at six months later, after... You know, I shot. I had to wait six months. And having six months of my parents telling me, you did the TV thing, you did the modeling thing, nothing happened. Get you a know, trade. Get a job. Be a normal person. You know, and in the back of my head, I'm like, no, no, no. Believe me, this is going to work out. But in, if, you, if you really think about it, right, even if you get a pilot, right? You still have to get on air, oh, yeah. and it's still got to be popular. You still got to be popular. I mean, the odds just were like million to one for me. Right. If, but at the time, I wasn't thinking of that. I was just thinking, I know it, positive. I know I'm going to you know, do good. And I really had this feeling you know, that it was going to go well. So you know, I just took a shot, and eventually, you know, uh, six to eight months later, the show was green-lighted. And then Jersey Shore you know, went on, and it was you know, one, one of the biggest shows of the year. And then the second season was... Biggest show or something of all time, and then I, so on MTV so you're talking about. Yeah, that's how uh, I knew that these great. guys were going to be famous for a long time because <laughs> I was surprised they didn't swap you out, even though you guys were huge in season one. Because normally in reality shows they they, they get a new some cast, people out, right? But when it, when you did season two and it worked and people weren't like losing interest, but it became bigger. It was like these guys are going to be here. Uh, for quite you, you like renegotiated, didn't you? Like they wanted because Viacom does not pay a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they 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 don't really. But uh, yeah, we eventually you know came to a happy medium, and uh, we signed on you know for you know number three. We already did three, you know number three airs January sixth. And um, was you that know, part of the contract when you did two that you're going to do three already? No, that was number three. I wanted number push number three down. was that possibly it, there would be four. Is there going to be a fourth? Uh, pot, yeah, there's Jesus. pretty much. Yeah. What, are you going to go to Europe? I mean, what else See, is there I to mean, do? I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, there were, there were talks of someone, you know, if there was a four, it could be, you know, right. you know somewhere you think, exotic. Shit, it might be. Why do you think the show's so fucking huge? Uh, I, you know what? Uh, I mean, I'm, I, mean, I don't really know. I just, I mean, I, I mean, I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think it's very real, mm -hmm. uh, very new and edgy. This is something, you know, that people have never seen before. Right. Were you afraid so, MTV would shut it down when the Italian group started protesting? No, I figured the ratings would get bigger. Oh, well, wow. we knew the ratings Listen, would get bigger. But <laughs> I was surprised they stopped with it. Yeah, sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll bail on the situations I, like that. I, I hate about reality because I've done a couple reality shows. Just, no, do it again. 
but then it's not reality. You know, you guys seem more like in the moment, and they're not making you do two and three takes. No, no, no. There's, there's, there's no takes whatsoever. No, I mean, it's, cameras, it's cold. Man. I could sleep in my bed all day if I want, and then if that happens, guess what? Nobody's ever gonna like me because yeah. I'm sleeping no, I, in my yeah. bed all day. Mm. You know, so I decide to do things yeah. all day, and that's pretty much where GTO came from, because. You have to stay busy all day. So the first thing we did in the morning was gym. The second thing was tan, and then the, and the, and the third thing there's no laundry machine in the in the place, so you gotta wash your laundry. So every day I did GTL, and everybody's like, "Oh, you're like a robot, man." I'm like, "Oh man, GTL's gonna be hot one day." And I was just fooling around. Now Needless it is. to say, it's one of one of the bigger phrases yeah, in the country right now, now. Now, now the fooling around thing. How much of what you're doing is a total goof on people you've known? Or what do you mean you, goof? What do you mean goof? Are you really like that? Oh uh, like, no, no, like no, no out in the I could, I could, I could totally explain that. Um, it, it is, it is sort of like, um, it's sort of like if you go to a wedding, right? Are you gonna wear gym clothes? No, you're gonna act according. You're gonna be very polite. You're gonna be on your best behavior. You're gonna wear that suit. This is a party show. So guess what? You're gonna get that party. You're gonna get that party atmosphere. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get that attitude. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. <clears throat> There's nothing fake. Um, I mean, obviously, that is just like a minute part of my personality. I mean, if you've seen Dancing with the Stars, you saw that I worked hard and I practiced and I was a gentleman and, and everybody said I was, you know, a really sweet kid and this and that. So every particular situation pretty much calls for either a different attitude, a different outfit, uh, a different look, outlook, and so on and so forth. So you're saying, it's like, I guess it's an exaggeration of that part of your personality, on the, which I guess it should be, because... Yeah, nope, it's like if us you're sitting like, here for four hours, you know, oh, yeah, like being yeah. raging assholes, yeah. Yeah. But you and should then we go home and we're only I'm not nearly the piece of garbage in real life yeah. that I am on the air. Oh, no, you, you are. Really? Like, what's the story with the tranny, man? Oh, the tranny? Yeah. Uh, that, you know what? It's, it is not even a story. It is not even nothing special. It's nothing crazy. And there just happened to be a girl in the club or... What you thought was a girl? You know, whatever it was. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, you know, she was talking to me. And all it was was a couple drinks. I mean, um, That's all it takes. And to be honest with you, I didn't even, I didn't even hook up with it. I didn't even. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't take it home. Mm. I didn't do anything of the sort. There was just a conversation in the club. I'll be very honest. I thought it was somewhat okay looking at the time. Yeah, you know, you're not going to get uh, an argument from the guy. Oh, yeah, by the way, and, yeah. and, situations observing and, and, situations. There, and there is no guarantee that this specific. You know, person was what they say it was. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, nobody oh, took it, nobody. No, right, I yeah. mean, nobody took in the back room and said, "All right, let's let's do the test." I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. That's because he wasn't there. You know? Why so, would you do the test? test? You know, but th Jimmy, that's all it was. There was no. There was just interaction. Jimmy knows a little bit about the training. Sometimes thing. if a training, a little bit. you know what? If somebody really looks good, you just sometimes it's called credit for the effort, and you let them blow <laughs> you. You know what? I, you know what? I had, a, I had a best. I had a best friend. Okay, and uh, who actually, uh, you know. Got caught in a very similar situation. Well, we have a best friend. She was too, a very, she was very good looking. <laughs> sure, you know, perfect. What you nationality know, do you know? Uh, I think she was uh, African American, maybe. Oh wow, or okay. maybe, or maybe half that and Asian or something. Yeah, usually the Asians but, are good. But you know, it was like a mix between the two. <laughs> and you know, she was walking by us. You know, it was down in uh, Seaside or something. You know, when I was maybe twenty, twenty one or something. And uh, my buddy's like, "Oh my God, look at her! I'm going to get that man." And I'm and I'm like, "I'm at the end of the night. I'm tired. I'm like, all right, man, go you know, go do your thing." Needless to say, he's making out with her on the corner, doing uh -oh. his thing, and all of a sudden, somebody across the street screams, "She's a tranny!" And I, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm, so hard. "I'm like, oh man, that sucks for you." The man. worst is when your friends yell, "She's a tranny," and you have to act like you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no! Get out of here, you! <laughs> and I, I think his excuse was, "Oh man, we only hooked up, man." I was just like, oh, yeah. wow. I may have footage at home of a very famous ex-boxer making out with a tranny uh, when I was hosting the porn. Awards, one who was supposed to be my date, uh, but she got a. Uh, uh, I was supposed to. I, I, as a goof, I was going to take this transsexual. Yeah, a goof. Yeah, as a goof. I mean, there's nothing wrong with <laughs> no, nothing, nothing wrong with you know trannies, transsexuals. Everything whatever, right with whatever them, actually. It is. I mean, whatever your preference or you you choose to be, that's you. You know, I I mean, sure. Do yeah, you tell that to their not? parents? Yeah. It's only it's only a gay <laughs> act with a transsexual if after the makeup comes off. You're comfortable watching television together. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Amanda. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rhonda. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's just say that this, uh, 
this transsexual who had agreed to be my date for the event, you know, just to walk down the red carpet, uh, was was arrested for <laughs> sucking men's penises in the men's room. Oh, she was a fucking keeper. She I mean, was a quality. Uh, what man. a good egg. Uh, that was a quality. Jesus, one. Blowing guys in the bathroom. That's I know. Rehearsing. <laughs> Since you've been on the on on the show, what's the most girls that you've uh, <laughs> that you've banged at one time? In one time? Yeah. You wanna? You really want the truth? I, oh, I absolutely do. You guys are gonna love these stories. I got. I got some good ones. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Um, actually, uh, one time I actually had uh, 10 girls in my room after an appearance. And I was like, I'm going to be honest. I'm not Superman. So I'm like, you know what? I got to start to, you know, you know, eliminate some Pin of these the girls. Hurt you know, almost bit. like the, uh, you know, survivor here. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, uh, fight it you out. know almost like, you know, start eliminating them. So I, you know, uh, so what happened was um, I took the prettiest girl in the room and, um, and she comes up to me and she said, you know, let's get out these other three girls. They're, they're, you know, you know how girls can be a little catty. Yeah. I don't know what she said. They're bitchy or whatnot. I pull my but, pack know, out and watch know, them all like puppies you know, go for the teeth. You know, <laughs> so, see who can nuzzle in there. Yeah. So she's like, she's like, let's get these, these other three out of there. They weren't even that hot anyway. So now we narrow it down to six. Uh -oh. So I am back. This is in the beginning. I'm only in entertainment for two years, but I'm just saying this is in the very beginning. And I, at the, I'm being honest. I was baffled because there's, there were three girls on one side, on my left, and three girls on my right, right? And they were arguing. They were arguing, you better not tell my boyfriend, and, oh, and this and that. Shit. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, this is, this is crazy. I mean, is this how girls are really like? And then, then after they, they got that squashed, then they, just, then they were arguing, the, the three and the three, who wanted to start and who wanted to finish. Ah. And then I was like, wow. I mean, this just is crazy. Just turn on the How TV, you, let them duke it dude, out. Dude, I've had girls wait. argue over the exact opposite reasons. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I, wow. was, I was like, really? <laughs> the one like, the if, if I had fucking six girls yeah. divided by two yeah. minutes... <laughs> was this after Jersey? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, this was this was probably you know the first... Um, this was probably like into the, into the middle... Couple weeks after it aired, probably. So, so what do you do? Do you bang like? Do you bang everyone for a couple of minutes just to get the stat in there? That's probably what I would have done. Stat. Just like <laughs> no, 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 no. So what, what? What ended up happening was when I got it down to six, and we finally organized what they wanted to do and the whole their whole master plan. We started off with three. Okay, we started hooking up with these girls, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is awesome. You know, three girls. I got three girls over there waiting or whatever. But were you with somebody, a friend, or were you by yourself? No, I had security at the door. Okay, security at the door, and I had security at the door. That had what happened is, uh, you know, we um, when I go to appearances and whatnot, um, I have security, and they take the phones at the door at when you go back to the yep. hotel because people take pictures, they record you. Whatnot. Needless to say, oh, one girl was slick. And it had maybe a spare phone or maybe whatever. So I'm in with the, the three girls and she whips out her phone real quick. And um, I I wasn't in the middle of doing anything, but I was just about to. Right. And then immediately I jumped up and I'm like, ooh, another eliminator. So, and then I had to eliminate her and her two friends. So now it's just down to three. And then pretty much I went on to the next and the only Flip friend. your dick like Indy's whip and get it out of her hand. <laughs> Whoosh, right from the bed. Yeah, so wow. that's, that's, nice. that's what you got to think of, though. Is if somebody wants to sell a tape like that, can make fucking you know twenty yeah. grand. And you, you know what? I mean, people. A lot of people have come up to me all the time, and they're like, you know, so and so offered me ten grand for a story for you. So and so offered me this, and you're just like, oh my god, like who can I trust? Like, would you, you make know? a sex tape, or is that completely like something you have no desire to do? Because it doesn't uh, seem to hurt careers. I mean, at all. I don't have any desire. I really don't think I have a need to do it right now. I think I'm I'm, I'm doing some, okay right some now. Real yeah. cash right now, and then uh, you know. I mean, I've heard of people offering, like, to to do it, and I'm mm -hmm. like, no, nah, I'm good, thank you. And just so you know, too, Mike is he's promoting a book. It's called Here's the Situation. It's like, you know, it, it's yeah. perfect for, like, MTV uh, fans of the show. You would, would love it. And you're doing a signing. Uh, it is, I want to say, tonight mm -hmm. at uh, Borders Penn Station. Is it, or do you just want to say that? I want to say, because it makes me feel important to say tonight, uh, like I'm okay. a part of the now. To yeah, say yeah. tomorrow, I'd feel silly. That would be. But uh, it's where I did my, uh, <coughs> my my signing a couple years ago. It's in Penn Station. There's a, there's a Borders right there. It's a great place. From 7 to 9. Yeah. Obviously, there will be a fucking line. Yeah, you don't even have to promote it. So it's get there early. You know what? Yesterday, it was, it was in the rain, and... Uh, 
I was like, ah, oh, man, it's in the rain. This is my, you know, my second book signing. And the first book signing went well. We, you know, we're, we're trying to just go to some, some small towns first, you know, let, let, let people know that, you know, I, I care about everybody, you know? Yeah, Manhattan. Like, like six, small like, town. like, no, no, no. We went to, uh, <laughs> we went to pretty much like, well, I was born in Staten Island. So we did one in Staten Island yesterday or day before. And then yesterday we did one in Jersey because pretty much I was raised in Jersey. And then after that, we're what going to. What part of the, Jersey? I'm going to uh, guess Ridgewood. No, no, the one in Jersey was brick. No, but where did you where did you grow up in Jersey? Uh, Monmouth County, Manalba, New Jersey. Oh yeah, I know. And uh, pretty much like six hundred came to. Uh, Jesus. I mean, it was a. I mean, I, it was it was a it was a pretty good showing. That's for, a tremendous uh, book signing. Of course it is. And then yeah, the, yeah, then the wow. next day, I think about five hundred showed up for the next day in the rain. You guys. So I was I was pretty flattered and happy and. And, uh, you know, it was pretty What cool. did you think of the South Park episode? <coughs> you guys have a sense of humor? I thought it was hilarious. All right, good. I thought it was hilarious. Good. You know what? I don't take anything seriously ever. You know, I, I'm concentrating on my career, my family. You know, even if somebody said they hated me, I'd be like, uh, you know, thanks, man. Have a nice day. Yeah, <laughs> how how are your parents reacting now, though? Because yeah. they wanted you to kind of get out of it. They got to be happy now that you're uh, making yeah, it. My, I mean, my mother cries. You know what I mean? I'm able to pretty much, you know, take care of my whole family. <laughs> so it's his. <laughs> yeah, yeah mine does. So much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know, thankful to be here. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's an unbelievable story of where I came from and the odds and, you know, and, and what, I, you know, pretty mm -hmm. much in the back of my head was, you know, I, I was a dreamer, you know, a, a young kid and I fell down on my luck pretty much and, and rather than, so to speak, settle kind of, I kind of just kept, kept those dreams and kept going and shooting for them. Do you hang out with any of the people off, you know, when you're uh, shooting? Yeah, how's the camaraderie with that? <clears throat> you know what, I do uh, talk to Paulie and Snooki, you know, uh, you know, via text and via internet all the time because, uh, I'll be honest with you. Some of us are very extremely busy, and yeah. you know we don't get to see all each other right. unless on set. Are there any jealousy? I'm oh, sorry. Oh yeah, they all don't get along, which makes the show good too. <laughs> I wonder if there's any because Snooki is very, I mean, obviously a huge name, and Paulie's doing very well. But is there any jealousy from the, from like the cast members who got a little bit less heat to you guys that actually kind of went through the roof? I mean, as far as I know, no. And I actually, you know, recently um, brought that up, you know, to the guys. I'm like, guys, you know, you know, there's everything's all good between us, and everybody's like, yep. And I'm like, all right, you know, because. I mean, things have exploded, and, um, you know, I didn't, you know, you, you want, um, they're almost like your brothers and sisters, and you want, you wish the best for them, and you would hope that they would wish the best for you the same. Mm -hmm. So, you hear rumors, and pretty much, you, you try to address them internally before they get out. So, I had addressed it myself, and it went fine. You, you like see some nice abs? Just walked in the room. We gotta wrap up. Oh, you gotta, you gotta go. Oh, you got a lot of shit to no, do, huh, Mike? I wanna, I wanna see his abs. Well, uh, well, Rich, Rich Voss thinks Rich he has better abs. No, I don't have yeah. better abs. Uh, yeah, you've been saying no, it all morning. You're out of your fucking mind, you liar. Show him your abs. Well, no, Actually, e rock has got uh, the abs. Oh, because I have... I have abs of steel. Yeah, I, 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 I want to stay longer, but... Yeah, 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 they got you all over the place. Yeah, they they got me all over. Are town. you sick of yeah. showing your abs every time you're yeah, out? I, that's why I've, I'll be honest with you, I've stopped. Yeah, I mean, not, oh, that, I'm, not that, that I'm never going to show them again, but, but you're I'm like, saying like enough that, everybody knows, you know. You should want to eat a little bed now. Yeah, that you're no, successful. what I'm trying to say is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just get fat, listen, I, uh, you know, if I show it every single time out, it, it's going to become you know uh, yeah. commonplace and almost like the product is cheapened. Overexposed. So overexposure. So I've decided. That's how I am performing. I, I pretty much, I pretty much have decided to, uh, you know, only show it, you know, maybe on the show or on magazines, and and that's really it. Um, you know, and yeah. uh, I want to show people that you know I work hard, I have talent, and or I'm intelligent. Book. I own my own business. I wrote a book. I have a DVD. Mm -hmm. My own vodka. I mean, you guys heard about the vodka, right? Eh? No. I, got, I got a vodka coming out, too. You Bro do? Yeah, Brother Man, Brother Man Vodka. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now, what's the name of your vodka? Uh, it's uh, Devotion Vodka. It's the uh, first protein-infused vodka out there. Jesus. The only vodka with protein. And it goes perfect with my persona, you know. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm going to the book signing later. And then we got the uh, clothing line coming out in a couple Jeez. weeks. Dilligaf. Just Jesus, run with it. Dilligaf. You know what Dilligaf sta stands for? I do. You know, what's the sample? What's that? Does it look like I give a fuck? Does it look like I give a fuck? <laughs> and that's pretty cool. So, you know, that's coming out soon, Sam. too. That's so, we got the clothing Sam. line, Sam's and love, uh, everything's going well, Good. and I'm working hard, and I'm happy to be here. I'm actually happy to be here. I'm actually fans of you guys. Really? We, we, I, we've been speaking for, uh, since last year, via yeah. sometimes text, sometimes internet. On the phone and stuff? Yeah. You know, I, I always wanted to come on. I and gotta, they, I gotta they be honest, because a lot of people oh, want wow. us to beat you up for whatever reason, and I, I like this guy. Yeah. I, I, I gotta say it. You're a nice guy, considering that you're a regular dude 
everybody wants to I mean, when you see a show like them. Jersey Shore, you don't know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? And you seem like a down-to-earth guy that fucking made it. And I, I have nothing bad to say to this no, guy. No, I relate to the workout regimen. We were making fun of your book a little bit because it's, <laughs> it's a little thin. I'll be honest with you. But, oh, you know. Yeah, but you know what? It's a humorous look. I didn't want to yeah. come out with a serious book at first. You know, I wanted to come out with something humorous, something very similar that everybody caught, what happened? caught up. <laughs> what happened? What people, what people caught to Jersey Shore. I kind of related to the book. So all the fans that love Jersey Shore, it's very similar to the book. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's successful, the book, then, you know, I can go on to it, maybe uh, an autobiography or a cookbook and so on and so forth. Right. Yeah, just, right, so just fucking run with yeah. it. Uh, you know what? I appreciate being here, man. I, I'm a definitely a big fan to begin with, and I'm, I'm just happy to be here, guys. Well, come back right. and see.